Hi everyone, Cosmic Mango here, your favorite mango from outer space. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It'll help you keep updated for more of my future Commander content. Salutations, my friends of the mighty Commander realm. Today, we embark on another thrilling journey, exploring the vast wonders and challenges of the budget Commander universe. With limited resources, I aim to prove that even on a tight budget, extraordinary victories and unforgettable epic battles can be won. And most importantly, you can do it all while having fun. I'm here today to share with you some excellent commanders that can all be purchased on a budget. Before we start, I'd like to quickly mention my friends at Paramount Designs. They make amazing playmats with fantastic quality. If you're interested in picking up a new playmat with great artwork, check out the link in my description below which is offering a special discount code for my viewers. Okie dokie everyone, without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Let's dive right in. Number 1. Imodane the Pyrohammer A legendary human knight creature that costs 2 red and 2 generic mana to cast. She has 4 power and 4 toughness and says the following. Whenever an instant or saucy spell you control that targets only a single creature deals damage to that creature, Imodane deals that much damage to each opponent. So, Imodane is a pretty unique commander and very fun to pilot. Imodane allows players to use exciting strategies and has distinct battle abilities that is set apart from other commanders. Its ability to deal damage to all opponents whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets a single target and deals damage to it creates an explosive gameplay style. Imodane encourages players to build decks focused on casting multiple spells every turn. This opens up a possibilities for a wide range of spell slinging strategies. Some fun budget cards I'd like to recommend for Imodane are the following. Shivan Meteor. This can be devastatingly powerful when combined with our commander Imodane. And Flame Slash. A great card for just one mana that can deal sufficient damage. Overall, Imodane the Pyrohammer is a fun commander because it brings an explosive and interactive element to the table. You can buy this commander for around 60 cents. Number 2. Arkelos Lagoon Mystic. A legendary turtle shaman creature that costs 1 blue, 1 green, 1 black and 1 generic mana to cast. He has 2 power and 4 toughness and says the following. As long as Arkelos Lagoon Mystic is tapped, other permanents enter the battlefield tapped. As long as Arkelos is untapped, other permanents enter the battlefield untapped. So, Arkelos is definitely a unique commander, and maybe slightly tricky to build around, but that's all of the fun. That's what you want a commander for, yeah? You want a commander that offers fun deck brewing, but also is fun to play. Deck brewing is an enjoyable process. Opinions on what makes a commander fun can vary greatly from person to person. However, many players find Arkelos Lagoon Mystic to be a unique and interesting commander to play. Arkelos has a unique ability that restricts your opponent's permanence when they enter, and even their land choices, which can lead to interesting decision making and strategizing. This ability can also add an extra layer of complexity to the games, making them more challenging and engaging. Some great budget cards I'd like to recommend for an Arkelos deck are the following. Bedrock Turtoise. Keeping in theme with the turtle creature type, Bedrock Tortoise is a great addition to an Arkelos deck. And Retreat to Korahelm, an excellent enchantment which synergizes very well with the commander Arkelos. Overall, Arkelos the Doom Mystic is certainly a unique and very fun commander to brew and play with. You can buy this commander for around 50 cents. Number 3. Jared, Carthalion True Air. A legendary human warrior creature that costs 1 white, 1 green and 1 red mana to cast. He has free power and free toughness and says the following. When Jared Cathalion, True Heir, enters the battlefield, target opponent becomes the monarch. You can't become the monarch this turn. If damage would be dealt to Jared Cathalion while you're the monarch, prevent that damage and put that many plus one plus one counters on it. So Jared is great. Bringing the monarch mechanic to any game of commander is always fun and most opponents will enjoy it too. It adds a sort of mini game to your commander games, which all players battling to become the monarch enjoy. Jared combined with you being the monarch makes an excellent Voltron commander that can very quickly stack up loads of plus one plus one counters to make him massive to easily help you achieve that 21 commander damage. Some great budget cards I'd like to recommend for a Jared deck are 
Court of Ayar. This enchantment is amazing and synergizes so well with Jared. It does exactly what we need it to do and I love it. And Palace Jailer, another great way to snatch the Monarch Crown. All the wall, Jared Cathalion True Air makes a hyper fun commander to pilot with that awesome Monarch mechanic. You can buy this commander for around 50 cents. Number four, Alila, Artful Provocator, a legendary fairy warlock creature that costs one black, one blue, one white, and one generic mana to cast. She has two power and three toughness and says the following, flying, death touch, lifelink, other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus zero. Whenever you cast an artifact or enchantment spell, create a one one blue fairy creature token with flying. You will be amazed at how fast you can generate a token army with the Leela. It's pretty gnarly. Those tokens have flying and get buffed up by a Leela as well, making winning by combat damage very easy achieved once you generate enough flying tokens. If you're looking for an engaging commander that can scale in power from the mid to late game, I strongly encourage giving a Leela a shot. Some great budget cards I would recommend from the Leela deck are the following. Intangible Virtual, a great enchantment that will help buff up our token army. And Alila Cunning Conqueror. Why have one Alila when you can have two? This one is going to be excellent at helping us generate more tokens and even gold enemy creatures, which is always fun and a strong mechanic to play around. And overall, Alila is a very fun commander that offers a great goal-wide strategy with the army of tokens she can create. You can buy this commander for around one dollar. Number five, Gardena, Blood Fist of Keld, a legendary human berserker creature that costs two red, one black, and one generic mana to cast. She has four power and three toughness and says the following. Whenever another creature you control dies, draw a card if it was attacking. Otherwise, Gardena, Blood Fist of Keld deals one damage to each opponent. So Gardena is a pretty unique commander, yeah? She can be fun commander to play around, especially for players who enjoy graveyard-based strategies and exciting play styles, especially those heavily aggressive styles where you keep on attacking. Garner's ability to draw cards when your creatures die is a strong advantage in black and red decks where sacrificing creatures is often a common theme. However, remember, they have to be attacking. Some great budget cards I'd recommend for a Garner deck are the following. Goblin Bombardment. This enchantment does an excellent job does exactly what we need it to do for a Gardener deck, giving us an easy way to sacrifice our attacking creatures, and a bonus of dealing one damage to any target. Very, very good. And the Sarah Seer, a creature that can be used to sacrifice your attacking creatures, similar to what Goblin Bombardment does for us, making the Sarah Seer an all-star of a creature in a Gardener deck. Overall, Gardener Blood Fist of Keld can be a strong commander choice and a very enjoyable one to play with especially in decks that utilize recursion, sacrifice, and graveyard synergies. You can buy this commander for around 40 cents. Number six, Zadar, Hedron Grinder, a legendary goblin ally creature that costs one red and three generic mana to cast. She has free power and free toughness and says the following. Whenever you cast an instant or saucy spell that targets only Zadar, Hedron Grinder, copy that spell for each other creature you control that the spell could target. Each copy targets a different one of those creatures. So, a Zadar deck is incredibly explosive and very enjoyable to play. The main idea is to fill the board with either tokens or very low CMC creatures, then cast Zadar. Once she's on the field, spam spells on her, cheap spells that buff her up, which in return will trigger her ability and buff up your whole board of smaller creatures. Very rapidly, you'll turn your small creatures into giants with the power to knock out your opponent's life totals very fast. This is just one of the ways to build Nazar. There are obviously other options too, but this seems the most fun in my opinion. Some great budget cards I'd like to recommend for Zadar deck are the following. Felonious Rage, a cheap instant spell that can quickly buff up all your creatures and Dreadmore's Ire, another great cheap to cast spell to buff up our army of creatures with Zadar. Overall, Zadar is a very explosive commander and is a blast to play. You can buy this commander for around 35 cents. Number seven, General Malhold Elves Dragon, a legendary elf warrior creature that costs one green, one red, and two generic mana to cast. He has four power and four toughness and says the following. 
Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, it gets plus three, plus three until the end of turn for each creature blocking it. This is a very spicy commander and very different to most. Will opponents want to block you? Because if they do, it's very likely their creature will always lose, as whenever they block your creatures, your creature gets plus three, plus three per creature blocking it, which is pretty wild, yeah? General Mahold Errol's Dragon makes an excellent Gruul aggro commander, where you just keep attacking and attacking with as many creatures as you can, most likely breaking through each time, because people aren't going to want to block. Combine this commander with Trample, and you can very quickly eat up chunks of your opponent's life totals, even if they do block. Because if they block, you get plus three, plus three, you got Trample, that damage passes over, you know what I'm talking about, yeah? A great card I'd like to recommend on a budget for this commander is Lure. This card is very fun to play with. Throw this enchantment on your largest creature and have your opponents have to block it with all their creatures. This card is really fun to play with. So let's say you've got a huge creature on the board, something like a 9-9 or a 10-10. Let's say 10-10. So you've got a 10-10 creature on the board, a trample, and um, your opponent has five creatures. He now has to block because you've put the lure enchantment on your creature. So you attack with your 10-10 creature with trample with lure attached to it, and your opponent has to block with all five of his creatures. The fact that you're giving your creature an extra 15 power, five times three, 15, yeah? So now you've got a 25, um, yeah, a 25 uh, powered uh, creature attacking, which can just do loads of damage and wipe out loads of their creatures. Especially with that trample, it can pass over and cause loads of havoc. Um, you also get toughness as well. So you can get 25 power and 25 toughness, making your creature pretty much unkillable while you wipe out all of your opponent's creatures and even hit their life total with that trample. Uh, overall, General Mahold El Dragon is a very fun commander to play with and rewards highly for aggressive strategies you can buy this commander for around 35 cents. Number eight, the final card on my list, Sadoru Imezara, a legendary human ninja creature that costs one blue, one black, and one generic mana to cast. He has two power and four toughness and says the following. Whenever you activate ninjutsu ability, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. This ability triggers only once each turn. Each creature card in your hand has ninjutsu, two generic, one blue, and one black. So Sadoru offers a pretty wild and wacky mechanic. Very aggressive indeed. Giving all creatures in your hand ninjutsu is just nuts. I think the best way to build a Sadoru deck is to have loads of cheap to cast evasive creatures with flying or unblockable in the deck, and then throw in to the deck the odd few gigantic creatures that you can ninjutsu in for a massive discount um, with Satoru's ability, since you have Nijutsu now on that creature, and cause some real havoc. You'll always be catching someone off guard with this commander. A great budget card I'd like to recommend for this commander is Slifer Blade, a one mana creature that can't be blocked. It's perfect for our commander Satoru, meaning you can very, very easily abuse Satoru's Ninjutsu ability with this creature alongside him. Overall, Satoru is an explosive commander that is super enjoyable to play with and can catch a lot of opponents off guard. You can buy this commander for around 80 cents. Okay, thanks everyone, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for making it this far. If you did enjoy the video, please could drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I'd really like to know if you have any recommendations on budget commanders that are fun to build and play with. If you do, please share it in the comment section below. I love reading your comments and I always try my best to answer them all. Let me know who your favourite commander is in this video. Have you built any of these commanders before? I'd love to know. Thanks for watching everyone and as always, take care and goodbye.